Hi, this is Kat at InkingPaperWithKat.com. Today's project is a Spooky Cat cup holder. Isn't that cute? This is a quick, easy project that you could make for Halloween. You can make quite a few of them fairly quickly, and it doesn't take a lot of supplies. So let's look at what we're going to need for this project. You need a mini coffee cup. These are four ounce cups. I got these on Amazon.com. It was the cheapest place I could find and also a place where you could get the lids and the cups together and only in like quantities of 50 as opposed to like 200, which I certainly didn't need. You'll need a piece of 3x8 DSP, a scrap of pumpkin pie, a scrap of basic black, and a piece of very vanilla that's about two and a half by five. You also need a pattern. All you need to do is cut the bottom out of your cup, open it up, lay it down flat, and trace around it, and you've got a pattern. And what you do is you put, and I think we'll do the stripes this time, but I'm going to trace on this side because it's going to be easier to see the lines. You put your pattern down and you take a pencil or a pen or whatever you want and trace around your pattern. And then you cut it out. Let's zoom you out a little bit. See, so you can see a little bit better. There we go. And then once you have your pattern cut out, you're going to adhere it to your cup. Now I'm using liquid glue. I found for me that's what was the easiest to use. You could certainly use double-sided tape. I would just make sure you got plenty on it so that your cover didn't come off. And you take your liquid glue. You want to make sure you get it on your edges. And get some in the middle section. And then you are going to line it up with the seam. Kind of get it pushed up to the top as straight as you can. And then work your way around. And the liquid glue does give you some time um, to get this laid on. All right, our cup is done. Now let's put our decorations on. Let's do our stamping first. I'm using the Spooky Cat stamp set. It's in the holiday catalog this year from Stampin' Up! using basic black ink and we're using the little cat that has all the words on it. So make sure you're inked up really well. Just put a fingerprint on that. Make 
make sure you apply some pressure. Oops, and then you want your cat punch. Cat is so cute. Line it up in your punch. And while we've got our ink out, we will stamp our sentiment at your own risk. Put our ink away. And then we are going to use the one inch circle punch. use a one and a quarter inch for the black and a one and a half for the pumpkin pie and then we're going to layer those with dimensionals You want to center those. And then we're going to put two dimensionals on the top, one on either side of that indentation. Pop your sentiment on. And the last thing we want to do it with the top is we're going to add some ribbon. And I'm using the stitched edge ribbon in pumpkin pie. And we're going to use glue dots to adhere it. Just put a glue dot on the back. And then just every little bit on the side just so it'll hold the ribbon in place all the way around. And then we're going to put our ribbon on. And you just run it around that rim. And then I put one final glue dot right there on the top of the other ribbon. Hold it all together. your top is complete. Now let's take our little cat, pop it up with a couple of dimensionals. And we're going to adhere that to the front of our cup. And Put our lid on and there you have it. A little Halloween treat container. This will hold about four mini candies. You could fill it with M&Ms or Hershey Kisses or anything else you desire. Hope you had fun. I hope you try the project and come back and visit me soon.